This video demonstrates removal of a tunnel dialysis catheter in patients with end-stage renal disease. Demonstrated here is a right internal jugular tunnel dialysis catheter. We are pointing towards the cuff of this tunnel dialysis catheter. Here we demonstrate that the cuff holds this tunnel dialysis catheter to the chest wall. To adequately remove this tunnel dialysis catheter, first lidocaine is injected around the track of the catheter. This is done to anesthetize the area on the chest wall Next, the catheter is pulled via left hand as demonstrated in this video applying traction and at the same time medicine bomb scissors are used to dissect the cuff from the surrounding chest wall tissue as demonstrated here. It's important to first dissect free the cuff from the chest wall tissue while maintaining adequate tension via the other hand as demonstrated here. Once circumferential dissection is completed and the cuff is dissected free from the surrounding tissue, we then proceed with dividing the fibrin sheath that has formed around this tunnel dialysis catheter as demonstrated here. Here we demonstrate dividing the fibrin sheath this sets the catheter loose, pressure is held over the internal jugular vein and the catheter is then subsequently pulled out. It's important to maintain pressure over the right internal jugular vein to prevent bleeding as demonstrated here. Pressure should not be held over the exit site rather than on the vein itself just above the clavicle. This concludes our video demonstration of removal of tunnel dialysis catheter in an end-stage renal disease patient.